Hey folks, uh, today we're going to build the frame, uh, patting planes and uh, mount the wing plug into all of that and uh, get ready to actually do the layup. So uh, exciting times, we're moving along. Uh, the last video uh, did get uh, several comments, which is unusual, but I appreciate it. That really helps keep them coming. It's going to help the channel. Anyhow, let's get cracking. Here's the right uh, wing. I've made the framework for it. The wing is just going to sit in this framework, which will hold it in place so that I can do the uh, mold layup. And uh, you don't really need this uh, done the way it is, but I wanted to make sure everything was nice and solid. So you see there's no play. It's nice and flat on the bottom. And uh, it allowed me to make the padding planes up. Now I'm going to mount the uh, wing to the uh, wing frame. So what I want to do is I want to mold the tops first. And uh, I've placed them in the frame. I've marked where these ribs are. So what I want to do now is just put some masking tape around where these uh, markings are, which is one's there and one's here. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to hot glue with little spot welds, not a whole bunch of glue, but just enough to uh, hold the frame in place so it doesn't move when I'm laying up the glass because there's, you know, a lot of activity when you put on the glass on. What I want to do now is just get a little bit of hot glue on the... Uh, Couple of these places, let's see, there we go. We'll just spot it with this for now. And a bit there, a bit there, and a bit here. Okay, now I'm just gonna whip the wing in there. So I have to be right on the edge. Right, so the spot glue's worked. I was able to turn it upside down. So I'm just gonna get a few dabs of glue, just a few blobs here and there, just to hold the frame together. And don't worry, this will all pull off real easy. And make sure that this one is set back. Because that's where I'm going to be putting a, a padding plane. I'm not going crazy with the glue. Just a few spots here and there. Just to secure it. And unfortunately, uh, the video which uh, showed making up the parting planes uh, somehow has uh, gone bad, so I couldn't use it. So here's the parting planes. Uh, I've done them at two and a half inches uh, around the entire perimeter. And uh, now it's time to start prepping uh, the mold by claying them up. All right, as you can see, the parting planes are all uh, installed. Uh, the gapping is very small, probably no more than half a millimeter or thereabouts. I've chamfered all the edges. Just put a little bevel on the edges as it goes around. This helps the clay to uh, sit in the hole better and to flatten out much nicer. So the first thing I've done is I vacuumed it all. I'm now just going to 
quickly check that I don't have any uh, hot glue strands which have uh, pulled off and gone on to the actual plug. Just having a quick check with my trusty dandy light. I love these things. I get two of them for about 29 bucks. You can charge your phone with them, do whatever. And they have two different levels plus a flasher. So anyhow, uh, in the description, if uh, you want to grab one of these, it's an Amazon product. Uh, I don't get paid for it, but anyhow, it's a tool. I put all my tools that I use and supplies in my uh, description to help people uh, search out and not have to spend hours on the internet to find the same things that I use. And so anyhow, it looks uh, pretty clear. The rivets are nice. Uh, it's got a first coat of wax on from before I put the parting planes on. And like I say, I've vacuumed it down. So this is the procedure. I'm going to now clay it all up. I've cut this uh, credit card blank so it's nice and square. And I've sanded a little bevel on it. I'm going to put a little wax on it. The other thing that you really want to do, and sometimes I forget and it's a real pain, is just these uh, kitchen cabinet bumper stoppers, silicone. You want to put them on in various places. Uh, that's so that the top, top and bottom, or the halves of a mold, depending on what you're building, uh, key in and align. So what I've learned to do over the years is when I'm doing my parting planes, I just draw some little circles on to simulate where these dots are going to go. And uh, that's because once in a blue moon you forget to put them on and then you put the uh tooling coat on you start laying up fiberglass and you go oh shit i forgot to put my dots on which means then afterwards you're gonna have to drive some screws into it into the parting plane and use those as alignment dots which is not very good i have bought some new clay uh, the other stuff I've had for at least 12 years, but now it's getting a little uh, a little dry, I think. Uh, this is uh, off Amazon also. It's It works great. It's ashless, which you must have when you're doing epoxy. I've used uh, plasticine in the past, uh, which was dirt cheap, but um, unfortunately it reacts with the uh, resin. So you get these soft spots, which take months to harden up uh, when you're molding. So anyhow, I'll uh, clean everything up, just check everything. And then uh, I'm going to find where the detail is, like here. I'm going to put some tape over where the rivets come right up to the edge. Because uh, I don't want to get clay in those. I mean, you can get it off with a little... Uh, uh, isopropanol alcohol, I think it's called, and uh, a Q-tip, but, you know, easy just to do the tape. So, we'll be back. I've done this little section. Uh, I couldn't get the camera angle good, so I've done it without keeping your fingers real nice and clean. So, this is a real tight gap. There is a little bevel in there, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just roll this down a little bit. Try and reduce the amount of clay I'm putting on. And then I'm just going to put it there like that. I'm going to just bring it down. And uh, roll it in. Now, one of the big things you want to do is when you're doing a parting plane. Is you do not want any play between the parting plane and the uh, plug. So... What I do is I under support everything. I put tape on the bottom right up to the lip where the parting plane is, and then I run hot glue in strands across it. And that uh, <clears throat> pretty much reduces the clay from uh, getting loose in there. So I'm just going to come down and take some of this out. And it's getting into the panel line here, so we'll have to dig that out. That's pretty easy. I've got the rivets masked. 
and uh, let's just try and reduce this a bit. Now, different guys have different methods in how they do this. Uh, this is how I've always done it. I've tried some different methods and uh, without much luck. So this is how I do it. I've cut my card, so I've got a real plain, sharp 90 degree edge. And uh, we'll just keep going. Every now and again, I check with my Andy Dandy Super Bright Light to make sure I've got really nice uh, fill. I believe I've got just a little bit missing there. Let's put a little more in. All right. I'm laying this uh, long strip of paneline, I mean, uh, play here. I'm going to come back on myself each time I do it. Otherwise, I could be dragging the clay out of the joint. So I'll just clean off my card, run down, moderate pressure, get most of it off, come down on an angle. This is why you want to get a right angle on your uh, applicator. And then I'm going to try and come along and take most of this off without damaging what I've already done. It's a little difficult on these leading edges. So you've got to just get that right angle, the correct angle, which I'm not getting right now. Get most of it off, but when we wax it, that'll all come off. That'd be nice. So that's looking real good there, actually. And if I go the other way and just keep, you know, going like this, it's going to drag some of the clay out for the most part. And I'll give it another once over. Once, once I wax the wing, I'll uh, go over it once again, checking it. And then I'll put the light on it and make sure it's absolutely perfect. I'm just a little bit of pressure, not trying to get it all out. Coming across this way, gives me that straight edge, takes some of this clay off the wing, get an angle on there, see if we can remove as much as we can. Without damaging where I've already done, seems something's there. Oh, it's a bit of detail. <laughs> And let's see, let's light her up and have a look. I mean, without the light, it looked perfect, but there's here and here, it's come out. So that's why I use these lights. They're just absolutely fabulous. They show so much detail. Where is it? There. Right, it's taken me about an hour to uh, get all this stuff waxed. So what I'm going to do is uh, give it a light vacuum, take two seconds. And then uh, I'll show you how I wax it and clean this stuff off. All right, that's all we needed. So I'm just going to use a paper towel for the uh, first application, the cleaning. And uh, that way I don't ruin my uh, wax suck up. <laughs> And another reason I'm using the paper towel is uh, so I can come down these seams and I'm not lifting the seam wax off right now. So really I'm just sort of cleaning. I'm not particularly waxing it, which I am of course, but not trying to get full uh, coverage or anything right now. 
hopefully the wax uh, gets on. I mean the clay gets on, picked up with the wax. And all I'm doing is just cleaning the joints up. Then I'll recheck them. And uh, then we'll do the wax. So what I'm going to do is I'm not doing the second wing right now. I'm going to actually mold this one up tomorrow. And the reason being is with the temperature changes in the shop being uh, winter and overnight, it's very likely through shrinkage and expansion with the temperature that if I wax the, uh, I mean, if I clay the other wing up, that it will probably end up opening up some uh, cracks. So there's really no point doing it right now. So I'll just be patient one at a time and uh, all will be good with the world. So I just want to make sure all these rivets are clear and that any uh, stray strands of glue are going to be off. So like I say, it's just a clean up. I've got some really fine uh, screw detail in uh, this area. I mean, in these uh, panels, I should say. So just using this first coat of uh, wax and paper towel, it's basically just getting the absolute majority of the clay, which I've got on the sides and stuff, uh, off, so that when I do the actual waxing, I don't ruin my uh, cloth. I'm not just putting excess wax all over the place. That's one good thing I like about this uh, wax. Now I'm sure any other wax would work equally as good. Is uh, It does clean this clay up real nice. Like I said, I'll recheck all these joints once I got it cleaned up. So, we'll be back. The next video part will be showing, I'll, I'll show you how to uh, make your own tool coat. It's a hardened tool coat, which gives a really quite robust finish. It also it gives you a slippery finish, a secret ingredient. Anyhow, uh, we'll be doing that. We'll be applying it to the top plug We'll then be glassing up the top uh, side of the mold and then we'll be showing you how to uh, do the other side and that will give us a complete mold. And then we'll break it open and see what we've got. So thanks uh, for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I would love that. It really helps the channel and uh, thank you very much. See you soon.